I would say, without a doubt, one of the top most requested areas for improvement after doing 30 years of executive coaching is executive presence. So let me break this down into two different types of categories. Number one, authenticity, and number two, technique. So number one, leaders have a strong presence when they are authentic. The most powerful and attractive leaders are fully present, great listeners, comfortable in their own skin, and confident in who they are. Those that listen and ask questions are not only more powerful than those that ramble on, but we love being around people who are genuinely interested in hearing about our story. Number two, technique. There are some small things you can do that will improve, or I should say remove, the static in your authentic leadership presence. Over 90% of all communication is nonverbal. So seek feedback from others. Watch yourself on video and be aware of others' reactions to you. For example, my dad used to jangle his change in his pocket when he was nervous, or many people have this uh, resting face that appears that they are disinterested or mad, while others couldn't stand still if their life depended on it when they're giving a presentation. Most people have some sort of nonverbal habit that gets in the way of their presence. Find out what yours are and work to stop doing that. And then lastly, dress. The general rule of thumb here is to dress slightly better than your team, your client, or your audience, but in the same style. Details matter and get the very best quality possible. In the end, leadership presence is about being genuine, having an interest in others, being comfortable in your own skin, confident in your point of view, and aware of how nonverbal communication and dress can make you a bit more credible. If you like these types of videos on leadership, executive presence, innovation, strategy, team development, click here for more.